for another project. So one of my Patreon supporters and YouTube followers has really been pushing me to put in some T-Track. He said, you won't regret it. And I've got a couple buddies that have T-Track. A couple of my reloading room uh, people I've interviewed have had T-Track one way or another. So I ordered up the Rockler uh, 4-inch universal hold-down kit. It came with the clamps and a 4-foot section of rail. Uh, let's head over to the bench real quick and I'll show you what my plan is. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people cringing. Uh, look, I've done plenty of woodwork. It doesn't make me a master woodworker. And I would say that if I am any kind of woodworker, I am a rough woodworker, not a fine detail woodworker. So uh, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but let's give it a go. So here's what I'm dealing with. Uh, I just have this down because I know I'm going to make a mess, but this is where my scale is, if you're familiar with that. Uh, I have this sheet, so I might as well use it to cover up stuff. I'm going to remove my zero press to give me room to work. And I've got this one four foot section. Now, I know a lot of people who install T-Track have multiple, you know, like sections of it. Uh, I'm not mounting. This will still be mounted down through these holes. I want it hard and fast to this, to this butcher block. And I don't, I don't need, like this doesn't need to move around anywhere. I like where it is. Uh, but I have two, two problems. One is I'm not going to move this bench to achieve my project and I can't move this wall mounted cabinet either, which means I cannot get a router in here properly without setting up a fence on the backside. And well, that's not going to happen. Uh, my buddy, Tim, who has been pushing to have me do this project actually, uh, when I was in California last week, drove two and a half hours to bring me his uh, really awesome router setup. I only have um, a compact router for my CNC machine uh, that I don't even have set up yet. But uh, this is a full-size Porter cable with a fence kit on it that I will be running against the front of my bench. The problem is the router's too big to come off the edge here properly. And because of the way that the router rotates, I don't want to start over here anyway. So it looks like what I'm going to have to do is I'll move my tumbler and the stuff that's over here and, you know, kind of get that out of the way. And I'll start my, my cut over here and we're going to come all the way across. And I'm going to be using the same line that these holes are drilled on because that's worked well for all of the tools that I have. And I know with the clamp down kit, I can, you know, move stuff forward and back. So I think that's going to be good. My dilemma has been, do I start all the way over here, you know, obviously it'll be up here, but, um, you know, lengthwise, do I start here and then have it running only to here, uh, on the bench, or do I leave a little bit of room over there that maybe I fill in later with a piece of track and run it, you know, as far as I can, which I think was about to this black line that I drew. Uh, that's about where I can go safely. So that buys me like another 10 or 12 inches. Uh, and I do more of my accessory stuff over here. So I'd like to have as much railing over here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, bring the router back, double check my distance to this cabinet, give myself just a little buffer, maybe half an inch or three quarters of an inch, uh, double check this line and then come with the router as far as I can and then bring the track over. And then ultimately I can buy a shorter piece of track and fill in over here or put a piece of wood in there or something um, if I feel that it's necessary. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me get the zero press off. Uh, let me take a final measurement over there and we'll be back in a couple minutes. All right. Well, after making a little bit of mess and having my son help hold the vacuum, I was still left with... Uh, well, a little more mess than I was hoping for, but really nice, clean channel. Uh, that router bit that my buddy let me borrow just really just hammered it out. So I'm really excited about it. Let me get this cleaned up and let's see how she fits. All right. And there we have the finished product. So, uh, you know, everything is screwed down now. Eventually, I don't know, like I can easily drill through this and put in a bolt uh, so that it's nutted on the bottom and not just in the wood if it becomes a problem. But, you know, the way these Rockler clamps work, um, I'm not having any issues so far. I've been playing with a couple toys. You can see here's my new Henderson uh, that's clamped down. And it's one of the reasons I wanted to go to this T-Track is so I could use, you know, toys like that or, 
you know, I've got a trimmer down there. Uh, I'm going to put my, uh, you know, I can, I can put my primal rights on. So all I have to do is loosen this up, spin this, you know, I can take off the other one, clamp this down. Uh, now it is clamped down and it just frees, frees me up to put whatever device I want on the bench at any given time. Uh, I did end up routing all the way to the end and you know, look, I'm not perfect. I, I put a little ding right there with the router on accident. Um, this last four inches was kind of tough because this was in the way, like I showed you, uh, I was able to move the router fence, but it made it a little bit off of where this was. So it, it went from here kind of up like a 16th of an inch. So I just very carefully chiseled right here. You can see where it's just a little taller, but you know what? At the end of the day, I don't really care. And if I did, I can always throw a little putty in there and patch it up. But uh, I got my 419 back down. Yes, it's over the rail, but I don't care. It comes out on this side. Uh, I'll probably end up buying another piece here and I may lay in a second complete track just so that I have the biggest options possible. But I wanna play with this first, see how I feel about these Rockler clamps, which so far, man, they are solid. Um, I think, I don't know if I told you guys, but the, the, the 48 inch track and the clamps was 50 bucks. It's a little package they sell. Uh, they were running a promo, so I got the third clamp that you saw for free. So that saved me a few bucks. But uh, uh, really excited. I can't believe how much pressure these things apply. I've only got one of these, you know, holding this Henderson. And, um, you know, obviously I need the other one, but, you know, like it's really on there. And if I put this one back on, let's see here. So, I mean, that thing's anchored down. Um, you know, it's not going anywhere. Um, you know, this is going to do everything it needs to do. I can apply plenty of pressure. It's not going anywhere up or down. Same thing will happen with that. So, uh, there you go. That was a couple hour project. Uh, only thing I had to do was have my son come hold the vacuum for me. Uh, obviously I still have some sawdust to clean up and you know, it is what it is, but I'm really happy. It's a project that I have put off forever. And if it weren't for uh, very kind efforts of a random person who watches my YouTube and Patreon, uh, I probably would not have pushed myself to do this project. So uh, thank you, Tim, and thank you to all of you that support me. Have a good day. Talk to you guys soon.